Hey, welcome to Board Game Today. I'm Brett. We're doing an unboxing of Buffy the Vampire Slayer Unmatched. Now, Unmatched is one of my favorite tabletop games out there. I'm absolutely loving it. So what Unmatched is, is a miniature game, a miniature board game, uh, in which case you take on a character and you battle out against other people. Uh, you use cards to figure out like what your moves are, and you move about the the board to go and, and battle the other player. Now, what's really cool is that each set has a theme, uh, for the most part, and that you can pit each set against each other. So this is Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but there's also Jurassic Park, Bruce Lee, uh, characters like uh, uh, Red Riding Hood, uh, um, you know, Sinbad would be one, and you can have them fight each other. So you could have Buffy taking on Bruce Lee. You could have Angel taking on a Velociraptor from Jurassic Park. It's really, really neat. Um, upcoming sets are going to have uh, Marvel characters, which is going to make things so much cooler uh, and be able to the possibilities. I'm really excited. Everything uh, that's coming. What's also neat is, for the most part, every single release you're able to play out of the box. You don't need to get a game and then a bunch of... Uh, expansions to it, each box in itself is a starter set, which I think is really, really neat. The one exception is Bruce Lee, which is just a character. As much as I would love character packs, I really, really like this concept because you're able to go and just pick up a set and whatever theme you like and play it. Uh, so the Buffy the Vampire Slayer, a little bit different in that it allows up to four players. Um, two to four players, where most of these are... Uh, one-on-one, -on -one, two-player games. Uh, so the age is about 14 and up. 20 to 40 minutes is about a game is right. And then uh, the other thing that's neat is the boards that come with it are double-sided, so you get two battlefields out of it. So we're going to open up the box. We're going to show off what this is from Restoration and Mondo Games uh, and see what's that, uh, what you get. You get Buffy, you get Spike, you get Willow, you get Angel. And I want to say straight up is I don't know Buffy very well, so... I'm a little, you know, behind knowing what all the characters would do. If you ask me, I'm mostly going to say, hey, they're going to punch uh, and, and fight each other that way. Like, not expecting ranged attacks, things like that, just because I don't know Buffy very well. All right, so get a rule book. Really nice design. I also kind of like that they, they do up the rule books based off of uh, each set, which is, which is pretty cool. Change things up a bit instead of just doing a generic rule book for every single one, uh, and then having like an addendum for new rules. It's they change it up. Really nice. It's it's a small detail, but it's a really really nice detail. Uh, let's see where we get the dials for all the characters. Uh, you need to uh, help control your your various characters and then their um, their sidekicks that they've got. Um, as always with these things, beautiful beautiful art. Like the the quality of design for this game, I think is. So, so nice. I would say the word unmatched, but I feel like that would be slightly cheesy. Uh, but, you know, you get the idea. Just beautiful artwork. The, the boards themselves, too, are gorgeous. This type of board you play against, or play on, uh, fighting against another player. And then we can see the other board there. I think there's only one set, maybe two sets, that don't have double-sided boards. But for the most part, you're going to get two boards uh, for each of the sets that you get. So, um, again, nice, nice item addition to everything. All right, so let's, we'll go up, uh, we'll just talk about each items. Uh, these are the tokens, they're kind of the sidekicks. Um, you can see all the various sidekicks out here that you can put next to uh, the characters. Um, it's pretty cool, it's, I don't know the Buffy characters very well, so I can't really sit there and say, hey, it's each person, this is who you get. Let's see what the back says. Uh, we get uh, Giles or Xander, Drusilla, Tara, and Faith. That's kind of cool. So the Gile, Giles or Xander, I think it's Giles, 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 whatever. Um, you can flip it over. So that's that's something that's neat and new. Uh, but you can also see that things are color coded. So each of the tokens match one of the, the characters. So again, something that's really nice. Of course, we got the little pieces to put together the dials. All right, let's go and look at the characters themselves. Uh, so this one, I guess, would be Angel. I, I know what the characters look like, so in that sense, I at least have that going for me. Uh, things that are really nice about the, the models themselves, some great detail. Um, I, I think the, the models are absolutely unreal uh, for the size of them and the quality that you get in the game. The other is that they do a really solid job of coloring the models, that there is like a, a wash put on it, so it's just not straight up gray 
you know, you could see the, the dark and the details pop from it. Um, really nice, you know, sword is bent a little bit, but, you know, I'll give them a pass on that. But the, the figure itself is really impressive. Um, you get the buttons, you know, down to the buttons on the jacket, which is a solid detail that even companies that do miniatures might not always get. So, really, really nice figure. The other thing that's nice to it is they will often set things up for sizes, so you can see there are some slight size differences. Uh, so this would be Willow. Yeah, it kind of looks like Willow. I, I know the eye Allison Hannigan. Um, kind of looks like her a little bit. Again, nice outfit. Details are really great. Um, we can see around the, the shoulders, uh, there's some fantastic detail on that. The, the wash makes the pants really pop. Um, solid figure with that. Okay, we got Buffy, who has, I don't know, like a pike sort of thing. I'm not quite sure on that. She has a weapon. I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, for that, eh, it kind of looks like Buffy a little bit. This actually, funny enough, might be the weakest figure out of all of them. Uh, the detail is decent, not quite as good as the rest of them. Um, yeah, it's really funny. Out of all of them, that's like the weakest one. Let's go with that. Spikes, actually, spikes really, really good. I don't know how well it's going to come through on the video. I know that the figures aren't quite... Um, there we go. That's what we need to do. Um, the, the face on Spike is really, really nice. There's a hell of a lot of detail to it, which is great. Um, the layers are really solid as well. There's, like, the scarf, I guess that would be. Or, like, the jacket underneath the jacket. I guess that would be, like, a suit coat underneath his actual trench coat. Uh, the detail layer on that is really, really solid as well. So, nice. And then on the back, there's tons of detail as well. So let's go again. We've got Angel. Can get that one uh, a bit more focused. And then Willow. No. To me, the figures, the figures are, are good. Um, out of the figures, I think Spike is probably the best as far as details i think angel after that then probably willow and buffy buffy i think is the weakest out of all of them that one that one's a bit of a letdown partially because i think buffy and willow also don't quite look as much like the actresses but spike and uh angel do all right let's go through the cards and show off all the cards you can check them out I'm not going to give too many opinions of this. I like to kind of go through the cards afterwards and get a better, whoops, and get a better idea as to how to play the characters. as to what you get. You can see how much of each you're going to get. Alright, let's go through quickly. We're looking, so we're looking on just straight up com uh, combat. You may place Angel in a space in this zone after combat so you can move around really quick. You lose combat, the opposing fire takes one damage, so you're kind of taking damage back. You cover health. So a lot of getting in combat close and succeeding or failing. So you get basically bonuses on combat is what it comes down to. Move faith out of... So a lot of post-combat bonus is what it comes down to. Um... Yeah, like, after combat, deal one damage to each opposing fighter adjacent to Faith. So it's, it's about getting in there and getting into combat is, is Angel's uh, shtick. Yeah, so that's that one's, I think, fairly clear as to what we got going. Show off Spike.
figure out the best ways to really hold this so you can see. Not easy doing this reversed. All right, so let's do a quick rundown on Spike to try to figure this out. Opposing fighters in space with the shadow token, you may boost this card. So it's a lot about these shadow tokens. So it's a lot about using these shadow tokens and boosting things for the shadow tokens. And getting rid of blowing through your hand, it looks like. Yeah, so it's a lot of using whatever show the shadow tokens for, for spike. Uh, yeah, for spike. Yeah, and discarding cards. So there's a lot of hand management and doing stuff with shadow tokens. Pretty, pretty easy. All right. Interesting. The other thing I want to point out is the cases are really nice. It's got space for the sidekick uh, dial and then the main dial on top of it. So really, really well done, thought out uh, displays or cases to put stuff in. All right, so let's go through Willows. Willow, I'd expect a lot of, like, range attacked, but I don't know the character well enough. A lot of spells and stuff like that. Alright, let's see if I can figure out the character really quick. Blind boost his attack. Move Willow to any space in her zone. After combat, become Willow. Blind boost this card. I don't know what the hell blind boost is yet. Discard deck. Do damage. Choose a friendly fighter who has been defeated. Place that fighter in any space in Willow Zone. Set their health to three, so bringing people back. All right, cancel opponent. Look top card of your deck. Put it on the top or the bottom. Move your fighter up to four spaces. So moving around. So it's a lot of moving and moving, getting into the right position. Cancel all effects. Draw a card if you won the combat. Draw two instead. If you won the combat, draw two instead. So it's a lot of a lot of deck on this one. Deck management and movement. So getting in the right position. And we got Buffy. Great art. I just I love the the attention to detail in this game. So let's look at these cards. Move all fighters adjacent to Buffy to another space. I have a feeling this is gonna be a lot of okay, Buffy recovers health after combat. Move up to three spaces, deal one damage to each opposing fighter adjacent to her. Discard, draw three cards, draw one card. Yeah, so this is going through the deck is the big thing off of that. If Xander is adjacent to Buffy, value is card six. Draw two cards. Move one of the fighters in the combat up to two spaces. Move your fighter up to four spaces. Cancel all effects. Draw a card if you want combat, draw two. So this is burning through the deck and then uh, getting your sidekick next to you so you can deal more damage or do a little bit more um, uh, do a little bit more combat with that. Um, all right, so that all makes sense. I think we got it down. I'm I'm digging this. I think I'm I'm excited to go and play this and see how everyone matches up, uh, and we'll go from there. I'm as I said, I'm loving, loving, loving the match. I think it is my favorite line of games. Always excited to uh, see a new one. I think there's just 
one set we haven't uh, gone over and shown off. I'm going to do that at some point relatively soon, and then we'll be all caught up. Uh, this is out now in shops. You can go get it. If you're a Buffy fan, it's, uh, I think, a, a fun game. Well worth checking out. If you like the idea of combat against your opponent, but you don't want to go, like, just cards, and you want a little bit of strategy, moving stuff around on a board, stuff like that, kind of like, uh, uh, you know, kind of a little bit of a chess on steroids, um, Unmatched is a great way to go. I think it is an absolutely fantastic game, uh, and um, as I keep on saying, it's one of my favorite out there. So go get this now, uh, and uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed on that. And, and there's tons of other uh, versions of this out as well now, so you can go uh, you can go get one that matches your taste. Uh, as always, I want to thank you for watching. If you want to buy your own copy, we've got links underneath this video. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that by doing that. You help support our site, so thank you. Uh, just watch the video. You support us, and you can check us out every single day at BoardGamesToday.com. You can find us on YouTube, on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at BoardGamesToday, trying to keep it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep rolling those dice and get your game on. Hey, thanks for watching Board Game Today. We always appreciate your views and your support, but there are so many ways for you to support our site. Not only can you do right here on video, but you can go and check us out at BoardGameToday.com where we have more news, reviews, interviews, everything you could ever want. But since you're here, if you could, you can always give us a like, subscribe, or share our videos or watch something else. As always, much appreciated and get your game on.